Welcome to Holly EFI training part 15. In this video, we're gonna take a look at working with our fuel modifier tables. These are gonna include things like our engine coolant temp compensation and our intake air temp compensation. We're gonna find our main fuel table is gonna be characterizing the fuel delivery to our engine under an engine that's already up to normal operating temperature. So 160, 180 degrees and warmer. If the engine is cold, we need to add more fuel, which is what the engine coolant temp compensation table is gonna allow us to do. And then we're gonna find as our air temperature changes, we need to account for the difference in the air density with our fuel delivery. And that's what the air temp compensation table is gonna allow us to do. So either compensation table is going to be either adding or subtracting fuel against our main fuel table to correct any kind of fuel deliveries in a variety of different conditions. So let's jump into this video and learn how to work with our fuel modifier table in our Holly EFI software. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at programming our fuel modifiers in our Holly EFI software. So in our previous few videos, we've taken a look at the fuel tables, the different fuel strategies we have available. We have our speed density, fuel flow rate based strategy, what we have open here, it's actually the table here. We also have our volumetric efficiency fuel strategy. We've went over our injector data. We know how it's gonna be converting that injector data into an injector pulse width based on knowing all kinds of background information. So the main table here represents what we want for fuel delivery into the engine. Now this main table, what we haven't probably talked about yet, is that it represents an engine that is up to operating temperature, meaning it's at least 160 degrees or warmer. We're gonna find as the engine is in the colder coolant temperatures, uh, it's going to have a different fuel demand. And that's because we have something called a wall wetting effect going on, where the fuel isn't gonna make it into the engine as efficiently. The atomization is gonna be poor, um, and we're gonna find that essentially the fuel's gonna be sticking to the intake valve and the intake tracks. It's gonna take more fuel pumped into the engine to hit the same air fuel. We're also gonna find just in general engines respond a bit better and, uh, and warm up a little bit quicker when they have a little bit higher fuel delivery when they're coming up to operating temperature because they're gonna produce a little bit more engine torque, the engine will be a little bit more stable, so they're all things that we want to accomplish. Now we can't do that or we can't account for that in our main fuel table alone. So that's where we're gonna have additional tables here that we're gonna be talking about, which is gonna be found in our fuel modifier section. So jump in here to our fuel modifiers. The first correction set we're gonna talk about is gonna be our coolant temp correction, which is gonna be compensating for the engine as it's in the cold operation state, so 30 degrees, 60 degrees Fahrenheit on our coolant temperature. We fire off the engine and then we have to add some additional fuel. Now we never know exactly how much fuel we're going to add. It's always gonna vary per car. Now one tip I can give you here, when you're working with your coolant temp enrichment and you're doing a fresh Holly installation, so you have no idea what kind of values you need in your coolant temp enrichment and you haven't tuned your main fuel table yet, this is going to be an issue. So what I would recommend into your fuel modifiers, you're gonna jump into the table here and you're gonna be setting all of these values to a value here of 100. Now a value of 100 here is gonna provide no more enrichment or essentially zeroing out all of the coolant temp enrichment against our main fuel table. We need to get the engine to up, come up to operating temperature. We need to properly tune this table first. We cannot run a modifier on top of this table until we've properly tuned the main fuel table. So always step one, go into your coolant temp enrichment table here, set it all to a value of 100. That'll again be zeroing it out. We're going to get the engine to come up to operating temperature. We might have to add some fuel into the table here as it's warming up just to get the engine to run stable then you're gonna go and properly map out the table. Once you've done all of your tuning here. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.